Assalamualaikum. This is Dr. Hasna, and today we'll be studying topic of heart, beginning from the external features of the heart. So, if you all know that the heart consists of a four chambers along with the great vessels. The four chambers include the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. Posteriorly, the similar things, the left atrium, the right atrium, the left ventricle and the right ventricle and the great vessels which include the aorta, the pulmonary trunk, the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava and the pulmonary veins, the four pulmonary veins. So that's the basic draft of the heart. What you need to know is how the heart is kept in the body. The normal anatomical position of the heart is where the the surface will rest on your hand, apex will be pointing towards the left and if you draw a median plane that passes through the heart, it should cause the right half to be only one third while the left half to be two thirds when you pass median plane from it. So this is the normal anatomical position of the heart. This is anterior side, this is posterior side. So as you can see, this apex, the protruding area is going to be pointing towards the left. Quick revision here, the deoxygenated blood from the entire body is received via superior inferior vena cava that enters the right atrium and this deoxygenated blood enters your right ventricle which pumps this blood into your pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk goes to the lungs and oxygenates the blood and the oxygenated blood comes back through the pulmonary veins that are four in number which enter your left atrium and this is pumped into your left ventricle and through your left ventricle entire blood reaches your entire body via the aorta which the left ventricle is connected to let's begin with the features of the heart in more depth so there are about four borders of the heart and three surfaces the four borders of the heart include the right border is between the superior and inferior vena cava. The inferior border is between the inferior vena cava all the way till the apex. The left border of the heart runs from the left atrium to the apex. And finally, the upper border is basically less defined anteriorly, but posteriorly you can see it better. The upper border is basically covering the upper part of atriums. The surfaces of the heart include the sternocostal surface. This is the sternocostal surface, which is containing the right atrium, right ventricle and the left ventricle. This is the sternocostal surface. This surface is mostly covered by the lung. Part of this surface that is not covered by the lung is basically going to be present at the cardiac notch of the lung. And that exposed area of the sternocostal surface is known as the area of superficial cardiac dullness. Moreover, there is the inferior surface. The inferior surface is the surface that is resting on your hand when you hold it in the normal anatomical position. This also consists of the two ventricles. Apart from this, there is the, this is the sternocostal and this is the inferior surface. So there is one surface that is left. This is the left lateral surface. This is between the left border and your inferior surface. And this is basically containing your left ventricle. Moreover, the parts of the heart include the apex of the heart. This lies at your left fifth intercostal space, nine centimeter lateral to the mid sternal line, just medial to the mid clavicular line. Just opposite to the apex is the part of the heart that is posteriorly when I hold it in my hand. This is known as the base of the heart. Now let's talk about the grooves and sulci of the heart. The groove or a sulci means any depression or a marked area that shows that there's passage of structure over here. So there are about three types of grooves. The first groove is lying between the atria and the ventricles on both sides, on the posterior side as well. The groove between the atria and the ventricle is known as the atrioventricular groove or the coronary sulcus. And it is named so because the coronary arteries, as you can see, these are the vessels that supply blood to the heart. These coronary vessels are going to be resting in this groove. So this entire area is the atrioventricular groove or the coronary sulcus. It is divided into the anterior part, which lies anteriorly, and then the posterior part, which is lying posteriorly. And it is divided into the right and left halves. The right side is between the right atrium and right ventricle, while left half is between left atrium and left ventricle. Apart from this, there is another groove, which is known as the interventricular groove between the two ventricles on anterior and posterior side. 
So this is the anterior interventricular groove and this is the posterior interventricular groove. This is basically separating the two ventricles from each other. Then there is the interatrial septum or groove which lies between the two atrias. You cannot see it. The crux of the heart is the place where all these grooves meet and this is mostly in the inferior surface of the heart. As you can see, the atrioventricular groove, the interventricular groove and the interatrial groove are meeting at this point and this is known as the crux of the heart. So these were a couple of important points related to your external features of the heart. I really hope you understood well. Thank you so much for watching.